Um, yeah, before we get started with uh talking to our our uh guests here, um, I just wanted to start off with the story. And before I get into the story, I just want to talk about you know this podcast for a quick second to caveat into the story. Um, we are a veteran podcast. This is true. Uh, but what are sea stories? Like I said in the statement, they're just stories that we tell that what's the best way to explain it historical events but mostly relative to the storyteller in that sense <laughs> i guess so what's different about our podcast is that uh i guess you guys know by now i like the really deep cuts i like really like if you know you know type stuff humor stories stuff like that and so I wanted to call attention to this story. If you just give me one second, let me share my screen. Yeah. Yes. All right. This is from military.com. The headline is Navy destroyer crews receives combat award for shooting down drones as health, healthy attacks to testify in the red sea. And then just down here, it just says vice Admiral Brad Cooper commander of the U S fifth fleet presents a combat medal to sailors assigned to the USS Kearney while the ship was in Bahrain, January 2, 2024. Um, all right, so I want to set the scene right now. All right, you're on deployment, you're in fifth fleet, sixth fleet, or whatever, you're doing your everyday thing. You're waking up, you're standing your watches, you're eating your, your uh, made to order omelets in the morning, you're doing your DC, DCTT drills in the evening, right? And then all of a sudden, the ship turns around and it starts heading towards that area of operation where the USS Carney was operating in um you hear the general quarter drills going or alarm going off everybody's manning their battle stations and next thing you know these dudes that were just uh you know they're planning a steel beak picnic one day they're popping off missiles shooting down aerial targets left and right left and right boom 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 everybody's safe everybody's doing their job everybody's jamming you know uh they get they finally get their break and they head over to Bahrain and then um then you hear Admiral visit. The Admiral's coming. And so this is what I'm trying to I'm getting at is that <laughs> the events leading up to the Admiral visit. One minute. You're in you're in the chair, you're hitting buttons, you're shooting off missiles, you're destroying hostile targets, right? Three days later, what are you what are what is the crew doing that just were in a in a lack of a better word in the a war fighting scenario? What are they doing three days later? Can can you guys tell me? Can you guys get where I'm trying to go with this story? It's that Christmas hey, clampdown, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Admiral coming on board. Yeah. yeah. What it what are these war fighters, what are these war fighters doing three days after shooting their last missile at a hostile enemy target? Shining brass. Shining brass. <laughs> <laughs> you know it made people more angry than anything else after we shot missiles uh in the Red Sea was that they had to go paint the launcher. And you know, the <laughs> launcher's like a, it's like <laughs> There's this After big the bird. black streak yeah. of, you know, of like that, like mm. everybody's proud of, you know, they're like, look at it, you know, like we shot something, you know, and then they're like, yeah, go paint that before he gets here. And they're like, what? Are you kidding me? We're going to paint that? Like, you know, and, and yeah, they would paint it. Yeah. And, and the thing is that <laughs> it would just take one person to say, you know what? Let's let that be our scar battle scar. I mean, I don't know. As an admiral, I would like maybe you'd like to see that, as opposed to a, a freshly painted launcher deck. I'd like to see that battle scar, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, you think back to Josh when me and you came back from the first deployment in '03. Like, we had the the fucking like our uh, kill uh, icons on the fucking launchers. You know, we had the little tomahawks painted on oh, yeah? it. We had for like a, oh. a month or something, and then uh, you had an know. admiral visit, probably. <laughs> right. I don't know. Right. So at some point, somebody got offended, and you know, cool stuff couldn't exist anymore. But 
for those that's moments. That's something that, was, that should have yeah, stayed shame. on that That's shameful, ship, yeah. You know, forever. I mean, I guess if it gets so ridiculous, World War Three, and your whole fucking ship is covered in little tomahawk emblems, <laughs> then it may be like, all right, you know, let's go back to the dead grave for a little bit. And I could see that the Navy side of it, it probably burned the paint off, so there's just straight steel exposed to the seawater, so there's rust. Okay, let's paint it. But damn... <laughs> Well, let, then let me offer you this. What about like um, the Admiral's visit? The Admiral's coming in to uh, recognize the crew for this, you know, prestigious thing that they just did. And you have some spaces that, you know, the, the Admiral's going to be in two places, that flight deck and the captain's cabin. And you got this whole division climbing in a, behind a top secret, inside of a top secret space <laughs> in the anger irons with two brushes. <laughs> Well, that was just an excuse to clean it, get the exactly. deep clean it, in, of course. Yeah, well, you know, it, has, it has nothing to do with the admiral's visit, and yet right. it's, See, it's an excuse. You don't have that admiral mindset, dude. I know that if I was admiral, the first thing I would do is <laughs> probably go all the way up to an array room and then <laughs> check some shitty corner and be like, oh, uh, yeah, I noticed that there's like, you know, a you little bit of dust and a couple of pubes. So <laughs> obviously right, fucking... next time when the when the ter- when terrorist fucking drones are attacking, please just disengage and come home because you guys clearly can't handle this. <laughs> so it's it's I mean yeah, you know, I get it, best foot forward or whatever, but give me a break. You know, and you almost wish the admiral, and maybe he did. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he did call and be like, hey, by the way, since I'm coming down there, make sure it's clean. <laughs> Don't do anything extra like you know these these, oh. these these war dogs did their did what they need to be doing. That's what there. I would be like you if know, I was like, an if I come in like... there and there's not dust or there's scuffs on the if there's no scuffs on the floor or you know, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the hammer of pain down on everybody, right. you know. But of course, you know, I mean, wow, clean ship, dudes. I guess <laughs> thanks a lot. I'm gonna try to trying to enjoy my time in Bahrain. <laughs> I got to come back here and clean this shit and then stand out here in this hot desert sun while you award us. I don't know. Well, it's not like, I mean, okay, let's think about it. Like, if the army, the front line, when the when the big admirals or whatever come up to the front line for the army, it's not like they're cleaning up the trenches or anything. <laughs> hey, let's clean these trenches up. Get this stuff thick and span. I imagine the guy flies on board, right? Goes right up to the captain's cabin. They shut the door. They pour a glass of whiskey. And they're like, Hell. how you doing, Dan? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good, Todd. How yeah. you been? You know, how's the kids? I bet and you that he's like, hey, by the way, your ship looks like shit. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> and they laugh about it, you know. <laughs> you know. Anyway, yeah. and they get on to whatever they talk about, you know. You think that so out these 300 combat cap- ribbons. <laughs> you know. If you were a captain, would you drink a little whiskey? Every night from before bed, or if I was a first class, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> I did as a seaman, so. <laughs> I mean, like... Uh, but in all seriousness, seriousness, uh, <clears throat> shout out to the Carney. Um, you guys are badasses. We're big fans. Congrats! You deserve all those accolades. Um, yeah. Uh, if anyone has is in touch with any of the fire controlmen on from the Carney, uh. Let them know that we'd like to talk to them. Yeah. Or well, anybody. That probably. would be super amazing. Awesome. And we could talk to some of those guys that are just pushing those buttons and doing those deeds. Man, that would be awesome. How awesome would that be? It'd be badass. 